Lesson 198 in A Course in Miracles Only my condemnation injures me. Injury is impossible, and yet illusion makes illusion. If you can condemn, you can be injured. For you have believed that you can injure, and the right you have established for yourself can now be used against you, till you lay it down as valueless, unwanted, and unreal. Then does illusion cease to have effects, and all it seemed to have will be undone. Then are you free, for freedom is your gift, and you can now receive the gift you gave. Condemn, and you are made a prisoner. Forgive, and you are freed. Such is the law that rules perception. It is not a law that knowledge understands, for freedom is a part of knowledge. To condemn is thus impossible in truth. What seems to be its influence and its effects have not occurred at all. Yet we must deal with them a while, as if they had. Illusion makes illusion, except one. Forgiveness is illusion that is answer to the rest. Forgiveness sweeps all other dreams away, and though it is itself a dream, it breathes no more. All illusions save this one must multiply a thousandfold, but this is where illusions end. Forgiveness is the end of dreams, because it is a dream of waking. It is not itself the truth, yet does it point to where the truth must be and give direction with the certainty of God himself. It is a dream in which the Son of God awakens to his self and to his Father, knowing they are one. Forgiveness is the only road that leads out of disaster, past all suffering, and finally away from death. How could there be another way when this one is the plan of God himself. And why should you oppose it, quarrel with it, and seek to find a thousand ways in which it must be wrong, a thousand other possibilities? Is it not wiser to be glad you hold the answer to your problems in your hand? Is it not more intelligent to thank the one who gives salvation and accept his gift with gratitude and is it not a kindness to yourself to hear his voice and learn the simple lessons he would teach instead of trying to dismiss his words and substitute your own in place of his? His words will work. His words will save. His words contain all hope, all blessing and all joy that ever can be found upon this earth. His words are born in God and come to you with heaven's love upon them. Those who hear his words have heard the song of heaven, for these are the words in which all merge as one at last. And as this one will fade away, the word of God will come to take its place, for it will be remembered then and loved. This world has many seeming separate haunts where mercy has no meaning, an attack appears as justified, yet all are one, a place where death is offered to God's Son and to his Father. You may think they have accepted, but if you will look again upon the place where you beheld their blood, you will perceive a miracle instead. How foolish to believe that they could die! How foolish to believe you can attack! How mad to think that you could be condemned and that the Holy Son of God can die. The stillness of yourself remains unmoved, untouched by thoughts like these, and unaware of any condemnation which could need forgiveness. Dreams of any kind are strange and alien to the truth. Yet what but truth could have a thought that builds a bridge to truth which brings illusions to the other side. Today we practice letting freedom come to make its home with you. The truth bestows these words upon your mind that you may find the key to light and let the darkness end. Only my condemnation injures me. 
Only my own forgiveness sets me free. Do not forget today that there can be no form of suffering that fails to hide an unforgiving thought, nor can there be a form of pain forgiveness cannot heal, except the one illusion which proclaims there is no condemnation in God's Son, and heaven is remembered instantly, the world forgotten, and its weird beliefs forgotten with it, as the face of Christ appears unveiled at last in this one dream. This is the gift the Holy Spirit holds for you from God your Father. Let today be celebrated both on earth and in your holy home as well. Be kind to both as you forgive the trespasses you thought them guilty of and see your innocence shining upon you from the face of Christ. Now is there silence all around the world. Now is there stillness where before there was a frantic rush of thoughts that made no sense. Now is there tranquil light across the face of earth, made quiet in a dreamless sleep, and now the word of God alone remains upon it. Only that can be perceived an instant longer. Then are symbols done, and everything you ever thought you made completely vanished from the mind which God forever knows to be his holy son. There is no condemnation in him. He is perfect in his holiness. He needs no thoughts of mercy. Who could give him gifts when everything is his? And who could dream of offering forgiveness to the son of sinlessness itself, so like to him whose son he is that to behold the son is to perceive no more, and only know the Father. In this vision of the Son, so brief that not an instant stands between this single sight and timelessness itself, you see the vision of yourself, and then you disappear forever into God. Today we come still nearer to the end of everything that yet would stand between this vision and our sight. And we are glad that we have come this far and recognize that he who brought us here will not forsake us now, for he would give to us the gift that God has given us through him today. Now is it time for your deliverance. The time has come. The time has come today. Close your eyes upon the world. Only my condemnation injures me. In reality, injury to you is impossible. And illusions make illusions. Whenever you condemn, it means you can be injured. You bind yourself to this world when you condemn another. For the belief in injuring outside of yourself establishes your belief in yourself being injured and attacked. Would you not lay this down, this valueless, unwanted and unreal belief, or would you keep the illusion by projecting out your attack? Only my condemnation injures me. Only my condemnation injures me. 
now illusion ceases to have effects upon me and all its seeming effects are undone now are you free and freedom is your gift to the world as you receive the gift you gave condemn and you are made a prisoner forgive and you are freed such is the law that rules perception would you release yourself from this binding idea that something outside of you can hurt you, attack you only my condemnation injures me I would accept this as reality now only my condemnation injures me only my own forgiveness sets me free From now on, would you always remember that illusions make illusions, except the one. Forgiveness is the illusion that is answer to the rest. Forgiveness sweeps all other dreams away, and though it is itself a dream, it breeds no other. All illusions save this one must multiply a thousandfold, but this is where illusions end. Forgiveness is the end of dreams, because it is a dream of waking. It is not itself the truth, yet does it point to truth, the certainty of God himself. Would you accept now that only your condemnation injures you, then awaken to God and yourself, knowing you are one, in truth, in reality, in peace, in wholeness in freedom for everyone. Accept this road out of disaster, only my condemnation injures me. Only my condemnation injures me, only my own forgiveness sets me free.
Accept the plan of God now. Be glad that you hold the answer to your problems in your hand and thank the one, thank God, thank the Holy Spirit, thank the Christ yourself who gives salvation and accept this gift with gratitude. Hear the voice of Spirit, the voice of the Holy Spirit of Christ speak to you these very simple lessons that love would teach that it is but yourself you can crucify. His words will work, his words will save, his words contain all hope, all blessing and all joy that ever can be found upon this earth. His words are born in God and come to you with heaven's love upon them. Those who hear his words have heard the song of heaven, for these are the words in which all merge as one at last, and as this one day will fade away, the word of God will come to take its place, for then it will be remembered and loved. Would you accept this love by no longer giving out attack? no longer crucifying the world, thinking it did something to you. It is but myself I crucify. I would accept the word and the love of God today, that nothing ever happened that was real. My true self cannot be threatened or hurt. Reality is true, and dreams are dreams. I would waken to myself now, only my condemnation injures me. Only my own forgiveness sets me free. Think of all the different attacks in the world, all the different faces of death. Your escape is given you now. Accept a miracle in place of all the foolish thoughts, all the foolish beliefs in death of this world that you could attack and somehow be protected by your attack or that you could even be condemned in any way or anything bad could ever happen to you, the Holy Son of God perfect, limitless, free, whole it is but my condemnation that injures me only my condemnation injures me only my own forgiveness sets me free
The stillness of yourself, your truth, remains unmoved, untouched by thoughts of death and punishment and pain. They are unaware of the, any condemnation which could need forgiveness. Dreams of any kind are strange and alien to the truth. Yet, what but truth could have a thought that builds a bridge to truth which brings illusions to the other side? Today, let us practice bringing illusions to the truth, taking our minds home. Do not forget today that there can be no form of suffering that fails to hide an unforgiving thought, nor can there be a form of pain unforgiveness cannot heal. Do not accept one illusion which proclaims that condemnation of God's Son is true. Do not accept a single thought and heaven is remembered instantly, the world forgotten, and all the insane beliefs forgotten with it. The Spirit holds this gift to you today. Let us celebrate our home, our truth, be kind, and as you forgive the trespasses of everyone, including yourself, guilt is gone, and you will see your innocence shining upon you from the face of Christ. Only my condemnation injures me, only my own forgiveness sets me free. Now is there silence all around the world. Now is there stillness where before there was a frantic rush of thoughts that made no sense. Now is the tranquil light across the face of earth made quiet in a dreamless sleep. And now the word of God alone remains upon it. Only that can be perceived an instant longer. All the symbols of the world are done. Everything you ever thought you made. Completely undone, vanished from the mind which God forever knows to be his holy son. There is no condemnation in you. You are his perfect holiness. You need no thoughts of mercy. 
who could give anything when you have everything, and who could dream of offering forgiveness to the son of sinlessness itself, which is you. Now is the time of your deliverance. The time has come. The time has come today. Only my condemnation injures me. Only my own forgiveness sets me free. Thank you.
Thank you.